Hello and welcome. This is a video to show you how to get your map of the CDM campus into Illustrator so you can start tracing it for this assignment. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is kind of the finished version here. So I have a copy of the map in Illustrator um, and I'm going to hide this layer. You can see I've got um, the shapes already kind of going. Here we go. So let's make a new file. New. I'm going to yell at my class. Period two people, please be quiet for this screencast. Thank you. You're going to hear this on the screencast now. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. File new. Um, this should be your default options here. You want to make sure under size, you're choosing letter. And you'll see these numbers 612 by 792. So basically, it's the size of a regular letter paper. And then hit OK. Okay, assuming you have your picture of your map already on your computer. Um, so you're going to have to take a picture of that map that you made somehow with your phone. You're going to go to the File menu and choose Place. So we're going to place a JPEG into this document. All right, and I happen to have it on my desktop, ready to go, Map of the School, Map the School. So I'm going to select this, and you'll notice you have like options in here. I don't think... We need to worry about any of these. Um, you might actually want to choose link here. And click place. And when you do that, you get this little cursor here that has like a little thumbnail of the picture you're trying to place. Um, so I'm going to put it in the upper left hand corner. And watch what happens when I click the mouse. Boom. It's huge. Way too big because the picture I took was way too big. So I'm going to go command minus. Command minus, command minus. Notice how much larger it is. So take your black arrow tool, the selection tool, and then click and drag one of the corners. So if I want this to fit in this upper left-hand corner, I'm going to drag from the lower right-hand corner. So click and drag. Hold down the shift key. Okay. Now command plus to zoom in. Use the hand tool. This is the space bar and move it down. Or you could grab the zoom tool to zoom in. Um, next we're going to do is crop the image. So a real quick way to crop this is to come over here, grab your rectangle tool, and just click and drag over the area that you want to keep. So I have uh, Declan and Arian's name here. I'm going to crop out. And I'm going to crop out all this blue area here. So we'll just click and drag. Like so. Okay, so Z bar, this looks bad because now it's covered up. But now, what I'm going to do is grab my selection tool, click and drag over both items here. So, this selects the whole layer one. And then right click and choose Make Clipping Mask. And that clips it, crops it. Awesome. Okay, now what we're going to do is make a new layer. So, in the bottom of my layer panel here, create new layer. And then I'm going to lock layer one. So right next to the eyeball, there is a little toggle lock window. Click there. So now I can't mess anything up. When I'm using the pen tool to draw, um, it doesn't like conflict with anything here. Um, so I'm going to rename my layers. So double click on layer one, call this template. Double click on layer two. Call this, um, this is where I'm going to drop my lines, or just rooms. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. And just a quick way to do this is to grab your pen tool, and I'm going to make a general outline of this group of um, classrooms. So real easy, just click on one point. And I recommend, you definitely kind of have to hold down the shift key for every click that you make. So hold down shift, click here, hold down shift, click over here. That way it's giving me 90 degree angles, which I like. I'm gonna ignore this little divot in the wall because I don't think it's that important. Uh, but I will keep this little detail here. So hold down shift, click here. Still holding down shift, still holding down shift. So now I've got an outline. Um, and right now I don't believe there's any stroke on it. 
So I'm going to open up the stroke window. Window, choose stroke, and turn the weight up to two points. So now if I look at my layers window, I can hide the template. You can see I've got my nice little outline here, perfectly square. Okay. So now I'm going to draw in my lines. And the easiest way I could think of doing this is to make sure that under the view menu, you have smart guides checked. So that will help you line things up later. So smart guides should have a check next to it. Next, we're going to grab the rectangle tool and click and drag a rectangle right over where we want to make these rooms. So for 318, I'm going to just click and drag. Notice it snaps into place. So I'm going to line up these lines right on top of those other lines. So now I've got room 318. Now I'm going to drag a box for 317 from here to here. And watch what happens. So I'll start this, drag it all the way down, and it will snap right on top of that line. And we'll just keep going. Here's the copy room. Sure. Snap it on top. This other room. Okay. You can probably guess what's next. Going to add the room numbers. So grab the type tool. And let's see here. Yeah, just click anywhere. Type in three. One, oh, there we go. Three, one, nine kind of hard to read. So I'll let you experiment with fonts and whatnot. Um, make this bigger. Okay, I remember when you uh, I'll grab the select tool, scoot it over. Like so. so now if I hide this template layer, you can see 319, 318, 317. A quick way of adding more type, especially if you know that this is going to be the font you're going to use is to click and drag while holding on the option key, and it'll copy it. Click and drag, click and drag. If you've done this smart guides thing, it will keep it on the same line. Like so. And then I'm gonna grab the type tool and just edit these. So if I need to look, my template layer, it looks like 318, 317, then copy room. 18, 317, do all caps, copy room, select the text, make it smaller, move it up, turn on my template layer again. I think that's 310 and then 301. Um, yeah. Hopefully you took good notes. 310 and 301, it's kind of an interesting combo next to each other. Okay, so that's it. Keep going, add more hallways. Remember I want the Sea King logo somebody in, somewhere in here. Um, give me references to where things are, right? So here's like the quad out here. Here's the um, eating area or whatever. Um, and yeah, and eventually you're going to hide this and save it by going File, Export, and then exporting a JPEG from this menu. So enjoy. Hope you like this one. Um, you're doing a great service to the community at CDM here, um, helping people not to get lost. Thank you.